Bruce. We're to, we see each other in the district all the time, and we're thrilled with the work you do for our veterans, disabled American veterans yeah. organization. You do outstanding work, and uh, here we are talking to the Secretary of Agriculture today. I turn around, and next thing you know, you're doing your good work, bringing it to the farm show. It's an important day here it at, is. at the 2017 farm it's show true. because we got uh, it's Veterans Day, right? A military it's day. Military here. recognition day, yeah. Mike. And uh, I was just with a panel upstairs here and we were talking about expanding opportunities for veteran farmers inside the state of Pennsylvania. And I understand there was a bill passed last year that helped, uh, I think it's with organic growing and so that things that are done in Pennsylvania, we can bring that to the forefront. Yeah, so I think it's important for consumers to know a couple of things. And it was a number of years ago that we passed a piece of legislation that allowed the Pennsylvania preferred emblem mm. or marker to be on the produce and the, and the goods that we're selling uh, in, throughout the Commonwealth. So people know that it's grown in Pennsylvania. So we added something to that uh, in the last session, and it's the homegrown heroes. So That's, it's another yeah. element of letting consumers know that not only is it grown in Pennsylvania, but it's grown by veterans. And I think people appreciate the fact and they will support an effort like that. And we need veterans um, because they've got a great skill set and agriculture lines up perfectly with the discipline. Uh, and and it, you're absolutely right, Mike. And we were, we were talking upstairs and some of the facts that I found out is that when we say that like 1% or 2% of the country is, serves in the military, it's only about 4% of the country that are actually farmers. And those skill sets line up perfectly. And in Schuylkill County, uh, down in our area, where we're trying to preserve agriculture in that area, and now speaking with the other hat on, the township supervisor, we work together on those, on those programs, preserving that part but we also want to expand the opportunity to veterans and their families. Yeah, great work ethic, great discipline. Uh, I think it goes hand in hand. And, uh, and we talked a little while ago, I just talked to the secretary, we talked about the fact that we need more people in skilled trades. And when they take those skills and they take them onto the farm, I think all Pennsylvanians win. So it's a really great program. And, and we look forward to expanding that. I mean, in like our the lower part of your district, the township, we just added a tractor supply in there. We're adding uh, some more agricultural businesses are coming into that part of the county. So we look forward and we welcome those business opportunities in our, in our part of the county, I know throughout the state, but we like to keep it in our area too. Yeah, for sure. So we're, we're you know, I'm you know, thrilled that you are um, serving on, on Pine Grove Township Borough Council. Uh, mm -hmm. Not Borough Council, but on the, as a supervisor in Pine Grove Township, that's number one. And then the work you do with veterans, uh, it, is, it is gratifying to me. You know, we're in Harrisburg. I'm fortunate enough to serve on the Agriculture Committee and on the Veteran Affairs Committee. Yeah. So the work that you're doing and, and the work that I'm doing, they're very consistent. They go hand in hand, and I love working with you. And just a reminder to everybody, if uh, you're in our area and you're having problems, you can call Mike's office and we will set up an appointment for you at his office, uh, just about any one of the legislative offices in the county. And that was a program that you helped. Get. When we sat down, we said, we got to do something. And what is it now, four years, and it's still going strong. So yep. I'm right. proud of that, Mike. Thank you. So am I. We're happy to be working with you. Thank you, Bruce. Take care. Take care.